This man is in federal jail tonight, accused of kidnapping a girl from Webster and sexually assaulting her. It took weeks to make this arrest, but they say good old-fashioned police work and DNA evidence helped crack the case. WBC's Julie McDonald is tracking the story tonight live in Webster. Julie? Well, Liam, the Webster Police Department says this case has been their main focus for weeks since that girl came forward after this happened May 31st. They're thanking her for her bravery and also help from the public. Probably one of the finest moments I've had was uh, being able to watch Detective Joseph Reed tell the family this morning that Mr. Bissau was in custody and the relief that washed over their face was probably something that I will never forget. Praise from the Webster Police Chief Wednesday for determined investigators and a brave victim. She's a strong little girl and uh, like I told her today, she's a hero in my eyes. Both were crucial, leading to the arrest of 35-year-old Joshua Bissau. The Thompson, Connecticut man is accused of kidnapping a 12-year-old girl from a Webster park and then sexually assaulting her. Police use surveillance video from stores and neighbors to identify the suspect and further connected him to the crime using DNA. They were able to survey Besaw and retrieved used cigarettes that were able to be tested for DNA. That DNA matched DNA that was taken from the victim on May 31st. Besaw was arrested at his home Wednesday morning and arraigned in Hartford. Crimes against children um, are, are the worst kind that we investigate. And we, we do, we take those to heart. And it's hard not to make it personal. Now, again, Basal was arraigned at U.S. District Court in Hartford, Connecticut, and is being held. His charges include kidnapping and transporting a minor for illegal sexual activity. Live in Webster tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.